Seven months after the Green Poison pandemic, the second wave division agents have arrived in the most heavily defended city on Earth, the capital of the United States, Washington DC. It's a huge city with a lot of well-known places and monuments, whether you've been there or not. So let's take a look at the map size, what places we can visit and what we can do in this open world. Beforehand, I want to mention that I didn't come up with the numbers myself. I didn't go through the hassle of measuring it all. I'm just too bad at that kind of stuff. I used my fellow Dutchy Marco Stiles data from his video. Obviously, check his video on it because he explains it very well on there. Also, the DC map images belong to Infrasound MWO. Links are in the description. Washington DC is a one-to-one -one scale, meaning that the size and placement of all the buildings is similar to how DC would look if you went to visit it right now. According to Massive, it's 25% larger than Manhattan, which gives us at least an indication of how large the map will be. When putting the maps beside each other, this is what you get. DC's map is around 5.2 kilometers in length and 2.2 kilometers in width. Obviously, this is a pretty rough sketch of how big it will be since the map doesn't consist of straight lines. Combine the numbers and you get the surface area of the map, which is 11.44 kilometers squared. As we already knew, the map is around 25% bigger than its predecessor. Compared to other games, it might not be that big, but keep in mind that you do everything on foot. There's no driving or flying. All in all, I'm pretty happy about the size, yet it's more so what they do with the map that makes it interesting. Contrary to Manhattan, DC will have all types of different landscapes, so to speak. Forest, rural parts of town with low buildings and large open plains, and also higher elevation buildings. You'll also see the city as it hasn't been taken care of in over 7 months, meaning there's a lot of garbage, wreckage and obviously nature's taking over. The capital will be divided into several areas. These are areas, not districts, and that means that there are 6 different types of environments we'll see. Where Manhattan had 2, DC according to Massive has 6, I could only find 5, perhaps this depends on how you look at it. In the top left we have Georgetown, this part of the city is very rural, low buildings and a bit of greenery. Below and to the left we can see a separate island, the Roosevelt Island. The island is completely covered in a forest and this is where you can see a large part of the greenery that Massive promised. Interesting about this place is that we can use the trees for cover which should add a new twist to the cover mechanic. More towards the middle of the map, we have the White House and the Washington Monument. These are of course major monuments where lore-wise a lot is going to happen probably. This is a very open area with lots of greenery and very little buildings. Over to the right, we have some more rural area once again with large museums like the Smithsonian Museums and lots of galleries and other important large buildings. And finally, all the way over to the right, we have Capitol Hill. This part of the map is way more open and will most likely play a large role in the campaign, probably a little bit more towards the end. This area is similar to the area with the White House and the Washington Monument. DC improves upon Manhattan with a variety of landscapes, types of buildings and more. But the world is also more interactive than last time. Across the city you'll find loot boxes hanging from trees and hidden in sneaky places. However, you will run into areas of the map that are controlled by a certain faction. This can be a friendly faction, like the citizen communities we've seen, or they can be controlled by a hostile faction, like the True Sons. These areas can be fought over, and let's say you defeat the True Sons, the civilians can take over the area, placing the area under your control. I'm sure there will be many more ways we can interact with the world, but for that, we'll have to wait for the beta. To conclude, we're going from Manhattan to Washington DC, where we can play on an almost 11.5 km squared map, which is a one-to-one -one scale that brings us close to the most important monuments and places like the Washington Monument, White House and Capitol Building. 
I'm excited to go there and I can imagine a lot of you are too. Before ending the video, I'd like to ask you, what are you looking for in the open world of Tom Clancy's The Division 2? Are you more about the size of the map or are you also about the interaction of the map? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video or if it was helpful in any way, consider rating the video, a like or a dislike, whatever you think it deserves. And with that, I'll be leaving you. As always, have a good day, try hard in school as it just started for most people, but not too hard. And peace out.